Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys a performance test about RC application and AGI both handling outbound calls. So first of all, let me explain you guys what we have here. In, at the right we have HTOP which is a monitor for our CPU usage and memory. Our Magnus billing server has two cores and four gigs of RAM and right here we have SIPP which is going to be generating uh, outbound calls for our server so it's acting as a soft phone and back here we have Magnus billing here um, with our online calls tab open with a refresh rate of 5 so you guys can keep taking a look on how many calls are active so first of all let's start by using AGI and see how it handles calls so here we have our CPS so let's start with 5 CPS and see how it does let's wait a little bit so our calls can be created So as you guys can see, we already have some load, some memory taken, and some calls going on in the background here on Magnus billing. So let's add up some more calls. Let's go to 10 CPS. Okay, so. As you guys can see, we keep getting higher and higher loads as CPS goes up. Our server with AGI is doing fine, I guess. Not having crazy peaks of CPU usage. Memory is about decent. As you guys can see here on our monitor here, um, asterisk is taking about 34% here we have also some PHP scripts going on here each of those taking 0.4% of the memory um, so let's go a, a little higher like 12 CPS Okay, so with 12 CPS, we started having some peaks here. We're hitting 85% or in our processor. <clears throat> so, I I'd say this would be the limit. Going farther than that would crash the server and you know make everything go bad. See, so we already hit 96% with 12 CPS at some point so yeah I'd be cal calling 12 CPS with AGI the maximum CPS amount you could safely have without having too many problems like billing problems getting new call problems and stuff so let's do a a soft exit here and as you guys can see our calls are going down and down and down okay so SIPP has stopped and our server is going back to normal load and let's see here in our CDR report we have 1,549 calls and here we have a total of 1,549 so we didn't have any bad retransmissions, timeouts or anything great so AGI is working perfectly at 12 CPS going farther than that would really give us more retransmission but for, for time's sake video size and stuff. I, I won't be crashing AGI in this video as it's something everyone can do. So let's go back over here and 
clear this record. Okay, so it's empty. We also have no call that failed. Let's go back to online calls here. So now let's um, go over to our Magnus billing server and swap to RC application. So I'm just com gonna comment the line that uses AGI and uncomment the line that enables RC application. I should finish uploading in a second, perfect. So let's exit HTOP here and reload at asterisk. Perfect, so now let's go back to HTOP and we should be using the C application now. Great, so let's go back to the test. And okay, perfect. Let's go straight to 12 CPS and see how many resources our C application takes. Okay, as you guys can see, it's surprisingly lower, a lot lower than in comparison to AGI. So we already hit 243 calls here. And we have the same amount of calls there. This is just like the difference of one and two calls are just like delay, um, a delay thing. But as you guys can see, we have a lot of processing power, it's still a lot of memory free. So I guess we could increase, increase the CPS and see how much CPS or C application handles. So let's go to 30 CPS. So we already have about 400 calls. Our server is working perfectly. Load is fine, memory is fine, no issues. And we hit the ceiling as for a call total server is working just fine see the peak we hit was just 64 percent that's completely acceptable let's go even higher 40 cps Okay, so as you guys can see, we are executing 40 CPS just fine. See, no problems. We have about 71% of a peak, 73%. So 80% okay not getting past 80 so I'd say this is a very fine load and it's a pretty good comparison a pretty pretty big difference in comparison to AGI so let's go over here in Magnus billing as you guys can see we have about the same number of calls here it's working perfectly and there's one thing that I'd like to show you guys which is a very very important feature about our application which would be if you go to settings and type CPS here you can set a maximum CPS for your server so for example if I want my server or if I know that my server only supports like 20 CPS and I save this value we're gonna start having some unexpected messages here in our SIPP which it, which means that uh, our server is not taking more than 20 CPS 
So this is ver a very great feature because if I start sending more calls, like even 60 CPS, our server is just, of course, the load is gonna go a little bit higher because the packets are being received anyway, but the server is not gonna try to take all the calls and crash. So it's a very, very important feature for security and protecting your server. So let's go back to 40 CPS here. And let's say we want to go back to our 40 CPS maximum. And also, yeah, as you guys can see, it's dynamic. You can just change it anytime. And it already applies to our tests. So let's go over to another cool feature, which would which would be uh, limiting user CPS. This user, which is the user we're using, has an unlimited amount of CPS. But if you want, we could limit this user to having, for example, one CPS. And just to remember, CPS means calls per second. So this user is going to be able to make one call each second. So this does not mean he will only be able to sustain one call. So let's save. And as you guys can see, our calls already started to drop as we are only able to send one CPS. So these are very great features. The application for this feature would be, for example, if a user starts sending a lot of CPS, he could, for example, take a lot of CPS from other users and make them unable to actually make calls. So this could be more like a load balancing feature, I'd say. So let's go back to unlimited and our server should already start taking more calls. So let's talk about uh, how to purchase the application. The application works as a monthly payment. There's no contract. So if you want to purchase it, try it out. And if you don't like it, there's no problem because you're not tied to a contract. You're not actually tied to anything at all. And also, uh, another very big and important feature of our application is that it also enables you to have slave servers. So you can have even more CPS and to distribute the load in between your slaves and your master, we would install a proxy server to balance the load. And we don't charge anything for the proxy server. You just, you just only purchase the application and we install the proxy server for free. And also the installation for the application is also included in the purchase. You don't need to pay any extra and we're going to leave the application working perfectly with your Magda's billing application. And the only other detail I can tell you that uh, I can remember would be if you purchase a, a C application and install it to a server and you want to, for example, swap server. So I don't want my C application in this server anymore. I want it in that other server instead of purchasing another application and leaving the other like uh, at <laughs> with the webs and stuff you can just call our support and we transfer the installation to another so i think that's it if you guys have any questions be sure to ask uh, ask those in our telegram group the link should be in the description also if you want to ask a question or you, if you need support just access our website and contact us. We'll be, we are going to be very happy to help you guys. 
and also please be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and watch our other videos and that's it thank you guys for watching see you guys in another video